morning. I'm excited. I'm really excited today because we're in South Brisbane and we're at GOMA, the Gallery of Modern Art. And we're here to see the Australian Pacific Triennial, Triennial hang on, the 10th Australian Pacific Triennial Contemporary Art Exhibition. But it's much easier to call it App 10. And I can't wait. This is supposed to be incredible. And we've come down from the Sunshine Coast, especially to see it. It's only a 90 minute drive for us. It's a beautiful 27 degrees in Brisbane today and I'm just feeling great. In this piece of art, there are 395 vials of water from all over Australia and they have a little uh, digital display where you can look up to see every vial has water and you can look to see where the water's from. So we picked one out and this one is number 10 and it's beach water from Rolulabar. Isn't that cool? And this one is from Creek Water in the Northern Territory in a place called Marara. This one is really sad. It's called Graduating Uneducated and the artists are demonstrating how worthless a degree is in Myanmar in 2021. This piece by the artist I Made Jerna works with reclaimed and repurposed objects. The piece is titled Kita 2021 and the artist collected pumice stones and coconut shells from beaches and forests in his home of Bali. This one is fascinating because the artist has been able to rip out little pieces of magazines and create all these different images of women. Just amazing. In this one, the artist is eating rubber sandals. He talks about how they are something that all the revolutions in Asia have in common, referring to the makeshift sandals worn by both the Khmer Rouge and the Viet Cong. Kuala Lumpur. Hello Daryl at Wanda Eats. This work is by the Filipino artist Archie Oklos. The work is painted on rice sacks branded with the logos of the National Food Authority, the NFA, who have been implicated in numerous corruption and bribery scandals over the years. The people depicted in the work have become, in the artist's words, immigrants of their own nation, and they are shown escaping persecution and violence and trying to secure a stable future for themselves and their families. This art is called Mon Belay. It means my ball in French. The artist is Sve Sareth, a Cambodian who carried this two meter wide, 80 kilogram silver sphere from Angkor near Siem Reap to Phnom Penh over six days at a distance of around 250 kilometers. Sve accepted food from strangers, slept under a tarpaulin and interacted with people along the way. This work acts as a metaphor for the weight of the traumatic history carried by so many Cambodians. That was fantastic and that exhibition is open every day at the moment in Brisbane and it's free for everybody. And I did muck up the name a bit because it's called the 10th Asia Pacific Triennial of Contemporary Art Exhibition.
I hope you enjoyed that one. What have you got? Um, pork barn meat. Pretty good. Pork belly barn meat. Pork belly? Barn meat, yeah. yeah. That's really good. Chicharron. And it's Chicharron. pretty nice down here. Very nice. By the river. We really enjoyed our lunch at the bistro that's at the back of Goma. In June 1964, there was screams from the ceiling. There were boys and girls jumping up and down on their chairs. There were sobs. The Beatles came to Brisbane. And we were so excited to show you the hotel where the Beatles actually stayed. But then we've just found out that the hotel itself was demolished in 1972 and it was located around the corner in George Street. And here we are now where the new Lennon's Hotel was built and it's in Queen Street and now it's called the Hyatt Regency. But it's a beautiful hotel and we've got a great view of the city mall. The Brisbane concert was quite controversial because the yeah. Sunday Truth reported that parliamentarians, airlines and oil companies helped themselves to the tickets before they were made available to the public. And a young man was charged for throwing eggs at the Beatles and he later became a, a parliamentarian and his name was Bob Catter.